Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about glycoproteins, proteoglycans and the differences between these two. Both glycoproteins and proteoglycans are made up of carbohydrate and proteins. The part which is, which is written later that is more in amount. So, in glycoproteins, protein will be more and in proteoglycan, glycan will be more. Glycan means carbohydrates. So, first we will see glycoproteins. Glycoproteins. Glycoproteins are proteins which contain oligosaccharide chains that is glycans covalently linked to proteins. So, oligosaccharide chains covalently linked to proteins. Here the attachment is co-translational or post-translational modification and this process is known as glycosylation glycosylation. So, the glycan part is here it is oligosaccharide chains. Major classes of this glycoproteins include O linked glycoproteins. First one O linked glycoproteins. Second one is N linked glycoproteins. And third one is GPI linked glycoproteins. These are the major classes of glycoproteins. And major biologically important glycoproteins include collagen, then transferrin, ceruloplasmin, transferrin, ceruloplasmin, then comes hormones like LH, FSH, then TSH then blood group substances. These are the biologically important glycoproteins. So, that is about glycoprotein. Next, we will see proteoglycans. Proteoglycans. Proteoglycans are conjugated proteins. These are conjugated proteins. Here, proteins called as core proteins, these core proteins are covalently linked to glycosaminoglycans. Glycosaminoglycans. Glycosaminoglycans means keratin, it may be keratin sulfate, heparin sulfate or hyaluronic acid etc. These all, these uh, heparin sulfate, uh, keratin sulfate, these all can take part in proteoglycan formation. Then uh, the linkages between the core protein and the uh, glycosaminoglycans include O glycosidic linkage, O glycosidic linkage and N glycosylamine linkage. N glycosylamine linkage. Here O glycosidic linkage is unique to proteoglycans and this N glycosylamine linkage is seen in keratin sulfate 1. So that is about proteoglycans. So, next uh, we will see the differences between these two glycoproteins and proteoglycans. Here proteoglycans, glycoproteins. Coming to the structure of these two proteoglycans, in proteoglycan core protein is covalently attached to one or more glycosaminoglycan chains. Core protein is attached to glycosaminoglycans. Here, the carbohydrate chain that is the glycan part will be more. Here it is more, it will be long and it will be linear. Carbohydrate part will be more and it is long and will be linear. Linear means unbranched. And it will be always a heteropolysaccharide. 
heteropolysaccharide. The glycan part will be a heteropolysaccharide in the case of proteoglycans. In the case of this glycoprotein, here oligosaccharide chains attach, will be attached to oligosaccharide attached to proteins. Here carbohydrate portion will not be a heteropolysaccharide and this carbohydrate is less in amount because this pro protein part is more in glycoprotein. So carbohydrate here is less in amount and it will be short and branched. That is the first difference between proteoglycan and glycoprotein. Second difference is, it is made proteoglycan, these are mainly located in connective tissues. Located in connective tissues. Here in the case of uh, glycoprotein, these are located in cell surface. Located in cell surface. That is the second difference. The third difference is, in uh, proteoglycan, carbohydrate chains are negatively charged. Carbohydrates are Carbohydrate chains are negatively charged. Negatively charged. And in the case of this glycoproteins, this carbohydrate chains may or may not be negatively charged. May or may not be negatively charged. These are the main uh, differences between this glycoprotein and proteoglycans. Then uh, functions include Coming to the functions, main function of this uh, proteoglycans, this include, this, uh, these are the main component of extracellular matrix, main component of extracellular matrix, then these are act as polyanions, polyanions, then uh, third function is, they have role in glomerular filtration, glomerular filtration. Then they act as lubricants in joints. Lubricants in joints. Then uh, they act as anticoagulant in vivo and in vitro. Anticoagulant in vivo and in vitro. Here in the case of glycoproteins, main function is cell recognition and signaling. cell recognition and signaling. These are the functions of proteoglycans and glycoproteins. Examples of proteoglycans include agrican, this agrican which contains chondroitin sulfate and protein. Next example is syndican. Here examples of uh, glycoproteins include collagen, then mucin, etc. So this is about glycoproteins, proteoglycans and their differences. So this is today's topic. Thank you for watching.